Hey guys, what's up? Tim be doing a review here on the new CBO from McDonald's, and that stands for Cheddar Bacon Onion. Might sound good to some people, I'm guessing a majority of people, if this is the new lineup from McDonald's. Now, McDonald's really doesn't normally do anything too different or crazy. They always kind of just switch the same ingredients around and call it something different. This one adds two new ingredients, or actually three new ingredients, to the McDonald's lineup. And those three ingredients are white cheddar, onions that are grilled, and a creamy mustard sauce. So we'll go ahead and open it up and check it out. All the nutritional info and everything will be located down below. And I actually doctored this up a little bit because it kind of was a little sideways in the bag and everything flew out. But I went ahead and switched it up. Still not the prettiest looking sandwich. We'll go ahead and take off the top here. Take a nice look. As you can see we got two strips of their semi-decent bacon. That creamy mustard sauce down below. And then some grilled onions. Definitely not a pretty sandwich to look at but I'm going to go ahead and see how it tastes. For the new CBO coming from McDonald's, for me it's kind of hard to review McDonald's products because I worked there for over a year and a half and ate McDonald's pretty much every single day because I was a manager, got free meals, and to me it all just kind of tastes the same now. There's not really a big difference in flavor at all. Now adding those three new ingredients kind of did stand out a little bit different to me, but reviewing like the bun or the Angus burger, I really have like completely adjusted to it and have no review towards that. But as for the new ingredients, the grilled onions and the new mustard sauce, is it really that big of a difference? Honestly, no, but flavor-wise, it was actually something enjoyable coming from McDonald's, not the same ingredients, all bundled up and called something new. So as for the creamy mustard sauce, you know me, I got some on the side, tried it out, it's actually fairly good. Now when I said creamy mustard sauce, I really was kind of unsure if it would be like a honey mustard, Dijon and whatnot, but it's actually a creamy Dijon mustard sauce, and it's actually fairly good. If you like mustard, this is definitely a great, great mustard, and it goes fairly well with the grilled onions and bacon on the sandwich. Also, really delicious to dip the fries in. Now if you don't like mustard, that's going to be a setback on this sandwich because that's like the second new ingredient and kind of defeats the purpose. But if you don't like mustard, hold the mustard on this. And for the second new ingredient, those grilled onions were pretty good as well. I actually enjoyed them. They had a nice smoky grilled flavor to them and the onion flavor wasn't muted. Like they've been frozen and lost all its flavor and texture. They still had a decent amount of texture and a decent amount of flavor, which was actually pretty enjoyable, and it also went great with that mustard sauce. Um, for me, I did get a decent amount, like I said, not the prettiest thing to look at, but I did get a pretty decent amount of the onions, and it turned out pretty nice. And for the third new ingredient on these sandwiches is the white cheddar cheese. Now, it's kind of hard to taste in between the mustard, the bacon, the onions, and all that, and all the grease is just piled up on top of that. It was really, really hard for me to even taste the cheese, and there is two slices, one on top, one on bottom. So I had to just rip a little piece of cheese off and try it by itself. It had a light, smoky flavor. Wouldn't really say cheddar tasting, but it did have a cheesy, smoky flavor to it, which was kind of decent, but like I said, got kind of muted between all the rest of the flavors. Now, something that every Angus burger gets is something called Angus seasoning, which it's their kind of like seasoned salt kind of blend. Um, that's actually fairly good. Now, the guy that made my sandwich didn't actually put it on. I watched him make my sandwich. He didn't put it on. So I got some on the side, sprinkled that on my own, added a little bit more flavor because without that, it's kind of bland. And the Angus seasoning just makes it that much better. So always make sure you get that Angus seasoning on there because honestly, it helps a lot with this burger. And there's not really too much to say about the bacon. It's McDonald's same mediocre bacon. I mean, it has a somewhat of a decent flavor, but really, even though they cook it right on the stove, it's just really thin and kind of flavorless. I mean, I've never been a big fan of their bacon, and still, nothing's really changed. They need to do what a Burger King did and kind of update their bacon. But as for the Angus Burger, I didn't have to pay for this either because I had a free uh, value meal card that I didn't actually have to pay for. I meant to look at the price, kind of forgot. I believe it's around 5 bucks though. I will have all the official prices and nutrition down below. And final thoughts on the CVO, I gotta say it's gonna be only a 7 out of 10 for the taste and a 6 out of 10 bang for your buck. I do like that McDonald's finally threw in some new ingredients. They kind of did something different, and for the most part, it turned out alright, because you can also get this in either the Angus Burger or in the chicken version with crispy or grilled chicken. I personally got to go with the beef. But as an overall sandwich, it's really not that bad, and I'm glad that they finally added something new to their sandwiches, not just the same old ingredients piled up like I've been saying. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Plenty more fast food reviews to come. Subscribe.